Hello everyone, nice to meet you. I'm very grateful to present you my work. I'm working with programmable photonics. Uh, for some applications, a programmable component is more interesting. Such programmable component could be easily incorporated in a larger system. It has applications in communication, sensing, spectrometry, and quantum computing. We will focus on two applications of our programmable filter, optical interleaver and paper rejection filter. Uh, when implemented as a waveguide circuit or optical filter, it's composed with couplers, Maxander interferometers, Runronators. These components are used to manipulate light to have constructive or destructive interference at certain wavelengths, such that a filter passband is generated. We can identify two basic classes of filters, finite impulse response filter and uh, infinite impulse response filter. A FIR filter is usually composed by feedforward delay lights such as Maxander's or array waveguide gratings, and these are also called uh, moving average filters. And the AR filters is composed by feedback delay lights, feedback loops such as runronators, and it's also called uh, auto uh, regression filters. Uh, we hereby present a circuit which incorporates both MNETI and uh, double runronators which has features from both AR filter and FR filter. Such filters which combine characteristics from both filters are also called autoregression moving area filter. A typical example for such armor filter is a reloaded Maxander. A, a, a Maxander with a reloader in one or both arms. The filter circuit we propose here extends the traditional reloaded Maxander by using a coupled ring resonator that links the two arms of the Maxander. Before we go to the filter synthesis of the proposed circuit, some basics of the filter design is being discussed here. Uh, normally, the filter response in the Z domain can be written as a following expression. Uh, let's see what is the physical meaning of such ex expression by looking at this example here. The incoming light beam is generated, uh, is separated into m plus 1 parts. The speed ratio is defined by the B coefficients. The speed light is transmitted through delay lights. The combination of different delay lights will undergo interference depending on the relative phase shift. The time, time domain response is written as following. The output yt is a function of the input uh, xt. If we describe the transmission in the z domain for such time do domain response, the fit forward delay lights could be expressed as pz, and uh, b are the coefficients of the splitting coefficients. This is how the AWG works. In some cases, the reruinators or feedback delay lights are also introduced uh, to the system. Similar as the feedforward delay lights, the splitting coefficients of the feedback are denoted as A1 to AN. Then the response in the time domain for the whole system has the following expression. The output yt is a function of the xt and the delayed yt. The whole transformation in the z domain is denoted as hz. The roots of the nom nominator, the roots of the nominator is called zeros and roots of the denominator is called uh, poles for the system. Normally, the spectral response in the z domain is called a pole zero plot. A pole zero plot shows the location in the complex plane of the poles and zeros of the target uh, function of a dynamic system. By conversion, the poles are normally indicated by the cross and zeros is indicated by zeros in the pole zero plot. For example, for a second order chip shift type 2 filter, low pass filter with a 10 dB magnitude response and a normalized edge frequency of 0.5 pi radius per sample, the transfer function is given as following. The corresponding pole zero plots are given in figure A and the power response is plotted in figure B. Now let's see how the filter synthesis works. We can describe the transmission of the filter from the input to ports to the output ports using a 2x2 transfer matrix. The transfer matrix can be calculated by multiplying the transfer function of each segment in the circuit. The input coupler, the output, the double ring, and the output coupler. The final transfer matrix, the, the final transfer matrix in the Z notation can be written as a generic transfer function of a second order filter. 
a and uh, a and b here are a function of the coupling ratio and uh, phase shifts of the elements here. Just to give an example, b0 is denoted as falling. As we can see, b0 is related to the coupling values and phase shifts of the circuit. Then we try to match the circuit transfer function to a given second order filter. For a given second order filter, we can calculate its B and A coefficient. As an example, we synthesize a second order chip shift type 2 filter with a 10 dB magnitude response and normalized edge frequency at 0.5 pi radius per sample. As we described before, the transfer function of a double ring loaded MDTI is given by HZ here and the AB are just uh, functions of coupling values and phase shifts. Then we try to match these two transfer functions. We find that we have six equations and six unknowns. Here is an example how the equation looks like. The least square fitting method is used to solve these equations. After solving the equations, we get the following phase and coupling values. Then we build the circuit model of the coupled ring load masander with cafe simulator. And we can see that the spectral response of the circuit simulator matches well with the ideal digital filter response. We have demonstrated that our proposed filter design works well for the Butterworth filter, elliptical filter, chip, 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 type 1 and type 2 filter uh, in simulation. Now let's try to cascade the design to a higher order filter. The enhancement in row off uh, with a higher order filter enables faster transition between the pass band and uh, the stop band. To realize a higher order filter, we choose a method of cascading first and second order filters to, to achieve the desired, fil de desired order method widely used in electronic filter designs. Here we give an example of how a fourth order elliptic filter is synthesized. The filter is a low-pass filter with normalized edge frequency of 0.5 dB radius per sample. It's a half-band filter with 2 dB passband ripple and 40 dB extinction ratio. The fourth-order filter HZ is decomposed into two second-order filters, and each second-order filter is synthesized with a former least square fitting algorithm. The final schematic of the fourth order filter is given in figure A and the corresponding filter response by the circuit simulation is shown in figure B. The circuit simulator takes the waveguide loss into consideration, thus the extinction ratio of the filter is just around 34 dB. In the following, we'll show how to use the optimization algorithm to improve the extinction ratio. The fabrication variation, thermal crosstalk between heaters and electrical crosstalk between the channels of driving electronics are also downgrading the performance of the filter. Thus, the optimization step is needed in real experiments. The choice of the target function for the optimization is very critical. We try to minimize the following error function. The error between the optimization result and the desired filter response is called x linear, and the same error on the dB scale is called x dB. The coefficients omega 1 and omega 2 can be tuned depending on the problem. Nidermeet and Paul Will are two free derivative optimization algorithms. It has been tested that the Paul Will method converges much faster than Nidermeet in real experiments. As I have shown before, the optimization algorithm could be used to try to compensate the influence from electrical and thermal crosstalk and also could be used to improve the extinction ratio affected by waveguide loss and fabrication variation. We now sh show an example of how the optimization works. The fourth order elliptical filter design we have just synthesized has an extinction ratio of around 34 dB. We could use a Nidermeet method to further optimize the spectral response. In this optimization problem, the target function is defined the error between the uh, spectral response of the coffee model on a dB scale and the 40 dB elliptical filter response. The circuit simulation of CAFE of initial 34 dB is optimized to the desired 40 dB elliptical filter response, and the result is shown here. As an alter alternative optimization method, we utilize a global optimization algorithm based on hopping. 
Basin hopping is a two-phase method that combines a global stepping algorithm with local minimization. We can still use the needle-mid method for the local minimization phase. The number of basin hopping iterations is set according to the difficulty of the problem. And we can start from a random initial position and try to optimize it to a 60 dB elliptical filter. And the final result is shown in this figure here. The silicon Futani chip is fabricated in iMac IC3G platform. The mass lake layout and the corresponding microscope image is shown here. The upper figure is a mask layout of the fabricated chip. The basic chip is a the basic design uh, is a masander loaded with two sets of double rings, where the input and output coupler for the M.I are a double stage balanced M.I, and we hope it will improve the the spectral it will give us a more broadband response. The design also incorporates a plate holder um, for later semi semiconductor optical amplifier post processing using the transfer printing. The experimental setup is composed with a tunable laser as the input light source, a power meter to measure the spectral response for the drop and support and 64 channel current source to control the heaters. All these measurement instruments are controlled by the computer and the optimization algorithm takes the real time power values as input and controls the current uh, current source. The measurement result is shown as following. We demonstrate that we could configure our circuit to, to different kinds of filters and we could see a qualitative match between the ideal response and the uh, measurement result. We are also interested in applications such as optical interleavers. Here is our initial experiment result for optical interleaver. The center frequency shifts from 1550 to 1530 nanometer. The cause of it might be the central operation wavelength shift of the direct coupler. In conclusion, we have proposed a rural nature based circuit to realize a configurable second-order auto-regression moving average filter. We have shown that such circuit can be cascaded to realize higher-order filters. We also demonstrated the optimization of the tuning coefficient both in simulation and experiments. For further information, you can go to see our journal paper. Thanks for your time.